If you're lucky enough to have uh, pine trees near you, um, if you look at the base, uh, you often get um, the pine needles that are falling down to the ground. You can see down there, but it's um, it's going to be a probably a couple inches thick that. And with the pine needles, you can collect them. Um, don't don't do anything to the branches because obviously it's like. Um, you could get into trouble, but you know, collecting a few pine needles is fine. Um, if you're not certain, just uh, consult with uh, the local um, parks people or the um, city council that you're in, and collect some pine needles, and that'll do fine for um, making acidic soil. So if you've got uh, blueberries or cranberries um, or anything else that likes um, rhodod uh, rhododendrons as well, they like um, acidic soil or acacia soil. Um, collect the um, the uh, pine needles, um, or you can use uh, rhubarb leaves. I talked about before. Um, you can use um, leftover like citrus fruits, like oranges or lemons. Uh, chop up, mixing them together. You don't want to make obviously um, a soil out of just pure lemons. That's just not going to be viable. Um, or the plant's going to die off anyway. But um, you know, just mix it with regular compost. So regular off-the-shelf compost bought for um, about a pound or a dollar or whatever uh, for like a 20-litre bag, and then mix in the pine needles with it. Um, probably about 30% pine needles to 70% um, of the compost, and uh, you can also like just add a little bit of the um, a bit of lemon in it, or oranges, uh, rhubarb leaves as well. Uh, just to bulk up the matter as well, that'd be really good.